Welcome to the Avery Waytronics operation video for the FLSC 05 forklift scale and FLI 425 instrument. This video will demonstrate daily inspection procedures and some of the operation routines you may encounter during a shift. Please always keep safety first in your mind as you operate any forklift. This includes wearing safety shoes and protective eyewear. Before you operate your forklift, you need to be sure that it is in good working condition. As you start your shift, take note of your forklift's general condition. Look for telltale signs of trouble, such as leaks and frayed or cut wires. Check the scale carriage for loose, worn, or broken components. Inspect the forks for damage, checking for cracks or bent forks. Next, check the locking pins for proper functioning. If they do not operate, immediately contact your supervisor. Check the FLJ100 junction box and the shield protecting the junction box and the cables. Check to be sure the bolts holding the bottom mounting hooks are in place. Check the interface cable. Make sure it is not frayed or cut. Check all connections on the back of the instrument. Report any damage you find. Check the indicator for proper mounting. Be sure it is not loose and that the ISO mounts are still in place. Check the ground clearance for the forks. To do this, level the forks and lower the carriage completely. There should be one half to one inch of clearance between the forks and the floor. Power up the instrument by pressing the on-off key until the light above the key comes on. If you have the optional scanner, after the startup routine, check to be sure the scanner is functioning. This completes your equipment check. After starting the instrument, the display looks like this. It shows the date and time weight on the scale, unit of measure, weight mode, center of zero enunciator, the number of records stored in memory, the pro number, the actual pieces field, the accumulated pieces field, the employee ID field, accumulated weight field, the abort field, and the complete field. The FLI 425 has touchscreen technology. To begin your shift, press the employee ID field. The display will change to an alphanumeric entry screen. Key in your ID number and press enter on the screen. Make sure the scale shows zero weight. If it doesn't, press the blue zero key on the instrument. If you don't have the optional scanner, when it comes time to enter a pro number, Press the Pro Number field, key in the Pro Number. If you make a mistake, press the Clear key. Key in the correct numbers and press Enter when finished. Following are five examples of situations you may run into during a shift. This first example is where you have one Pro Number and one piece and you use one lift. Lift the piece and scan the pro number barcode. If you don't have the optional scanner or the barcode won't scan properly, press the pro number field and key in the pro number manually. Once you've entered the pro number, the alphanumeric screen appears with estimated pieces listed at the top. Type in the number of pieces in the pro number. In this case, there is only one and the default is one, so press the enter key to accept it. The alphanumeric screen appears with estimated weight listed at the top. Type in the declared weight for this pro number bill of lading and press enter. The main screen returns with the active pro number now listed in the pro number field. When the weight reading is stable, press the blue store key. The display briefly shows transaction stored, then returns to the main screen with the current weight, the pro number, the accumulated number of pieces weighed, and the accumulated weight displayed. 
Data is stored in memory until downloaded later, or, if you have the wireless interface, data is transferred instantly to the receiver. Press the Complete field and press Yes when asked if you want to complete the PRO number. Remove the pallet. After a weight is stored using the store key, the pallet must be removed and the weight on the scale must fall below the programmed minimum before the weight of the next pallet will be accepted. Here is an example where you have one PRO number, two pieces, and you use just one lift. Zero the scale and lift the pieces. Scan the PRO number barcode. Key in the estimated pieces for this PRO number. In this case, there are two pieces in the shipment, so press 2, then press the Enter key. The alphanumeric screen appears with estimated weight listed at the top. Type in the declared weight of the PRO number listed on the shipping materials and press the Enter key. We'll use 925 pounds in this example. The screen returns to the opening screen with the active PRO number now listed in the PRO number field. You need to tell the instrument when you're lifting more than one piece so it can track accumulated pieces. Press the Actual Pieces field and key in the number of pieces being lifted in this lift. In this case that is two. Then press Enter. When the weight reading is stable, press the Store key. The display briefly shows transaction stored, then returns to the main screen with the current weight, the PRO number, the accumulated number of pieces weighed, and the accumulated weight displayed. Remove the pallet. Remember that after a weight is stored using the store key, the pallet must be removed and the weight on the scale must fall below the programmed minimum before the weight of the next pallet will be accepted. Press the complete field to finish this PRO number. In this example, we'll have one PRO number, two pieces, and use two lifts. Zero the scale and lift the first piece. Scan the PRO number barcode. Key in the estimated pieces for this PRO number. In this case, there are two pieces in the shipment so press 2, then press the Enter key. The alphanumeric screen appears with estimated weight listed at the top. Type in the declared weight of the PRO number listed on the shipping materials and press the Enter key. We'll use 1,500 pounds in this example. The screen returns to the opening screen with the PRO number now listed in the PRO number field. Actual pieces defaults to 1 so you don't have to enter a different value here. When the weight reading is stable, press the store key. The display briefly shows transaction stored, then returns to the main screen with the current weight, the PRO number, the accumulated number of pieces weighed, and the accumulated weight displayed. Remove the pallet. Pick up the second piece in the PRO number, wait for the weight to become stable, then press the store key. Transaction stored is briefly displayed. Remove the pallet and the scale returns to zero weight. Press the complete key and press yes to complete this PRO number. The next example is for one PRO number, multiple loose pieces and one lift. Lift the pallet and zero the scale. Load the pallet with the pieces to weigh. Scan or key in the PRO number barcode. Key in the estimated pieces for this PRO number. In this case there are 9, so press 9 and press the Enter key. The alphanumeric screen appears with estimated weight listed at the top. Type in the declared weight of the PRO number listed on the shipping materials and press the Enter key. The screen returns to the opening screen with the active PRO number now listed. Press the Actual Pieces field and key in 9, then press Enter. And when the weight reading is stable, press the Store key. The display briefly shows transaction stored, then returns to the main screen with the current weight, the PRO number, the accumulated number of pieces weighed, and the accumulated weight displayed.
Remove the pallet. Always remember, press the complete field, then yes, to finish a PRO number. In this final example, we'll show two PRO numbers, three pieces, and three lifts. This can happen when part of one shipment needs to be moved to get to another shipment. Be sure the scale is zeroed and lift the first piece. Scan in the PRO number. Enter the estimated pieces, two in this case, and press the Enter key. Enter the estimated weight and press the Enter key. When the weight is stable, press the Store key. Transaction stored is briefly displayed. Move that piece out of the way and return to lift the other shipment. Scan the new PRO number, enter the estimated pieces, one in this case, which is also the default, so just press the ENTER key. Key in the declared weight and press the ENTER key. With the weight stable, press the STORE key. Transaction stored is briefly displayed. Press the complete field to complete this PRO number. Drop off that piece and return for the second piece from the first PRO number. Lift it. Scan the PRO number to make it active and the instrument goes directly to the weighing screen. When the weight is stable, press the STORE key. To complete this PRO number, press COMPLETE, then YES. There are many different situations you will encounter during a shift. Just remember to scan the PRO number of the piece you are weighing and press complete only when all the pieces in the PRO number have been stored. If you ever need to abort a transaction, press the abort field on the screen. Press yes and the PRO number will be deleted from the database. After a period of inactivity, the instrument will go into a power saving or sleep mode. Changing the weight on the scale or tapping the screen will wake the instrument up. After a long period of inactivity, the instrument will shut down completely. To restart the instrument, press and hold the on-off key until the light comes on. If you have the Wi-Fi radio option installed and configured, you will see this icon on the display. When the link is made and communicating with the receiving Wi-Fi unit, the icon looks like this. To power off the FLI 425, Press and hold the on-off key until the progress bar reaches the end. When you release, the instrument will shut down. This completes the operation video for the FLSC 05 carriage and FLI 425 instrument. Thank you from Avery Waytronics.